I've got four boxes of half dollars in front of me, and I'm hoping that I can find more silver in circulation and add to my 2024 half dollar totals. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fiennes Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. We have done well on my live streams lately. 64 boxes hunted live and 111 silvers found. So almost a two silver for one box ratio. Unlike my solo hunts, like this is gonna be a four box solo hunt, 79 boxes searched, only 55 silvers. So as good as we've done live, we've done pretty bad solo. I've got four unchosen boxes here for several weeks. You know the mission, find some more silver. Of course, we'll take any varieties, NIFCs, things like that. And uh, yeah, up first is the uh, MBB1 box. And uh, let's get this cracked open. Make sure it's not brand new half dollars. And it's not. All right. Let's go ahead and start cracking into rolls. I won't bring you in for any NIFCs, but hopefully I'm back before the end of the box with a find. Roll number seven of box number one is going to kick us off with our first real find. We already have an NIFC on the board, but now we have a proof, a 1981S proof. And you know what? Let's take a look at that S mint mark. A 1979 and 1981 minted coins, the proof ones. You want to look at that S mint mark? There's a type one and a type two. In this particular case, the 1981S needs to be a type two to have a lot of value, which is a flat S. It's more flat here versus how this is rounded. This is a nice rounded uh, S mint mark. So good to be a type one, the less valuable one. We'll still take it. It's a nice find, a proof in an NIFC so far, only seven rolls in. We're on roll number 23 of the box. Just grabbed it out, we'll get to it. All I have is three NIFCs and that proof until now. I grabbed this rollout, flipped it around, and take a look at that. The 1969 Denver 40% silver half dollar end coin or ender. Hopefully that means there's goodies below it because as this box was filled, it was filled from the bottom up. And this is the very first silver coin we have seen. Let's see if there's friends with it or if it's riding solo. Yeah, it's riding solo, but I will take it, especially as an ender. It makes me optimistic there could be another one or two in the box. 1969 Denver. All we need is a 90 and a miscellaneous for a fill the board. Roll number 31 of box one. We just grabbed a 2024 Denver. I was going to film it and then I thought, nah, but I'm here because we got a proof coin, a 1977S. It's unfortunate that it has that scratch. Otherwise, it would have been pretty nice condition for a circulated proof. Either way, I'll take it. Our second proof coin found of the first box. Roll 45 is not going to let us down. Just cracked it open. And I believe we have our second 40 percenter right there. Now, the roll didn't weigh heavy, 225.6. So, wasn't expecting it to be anything special, but it was. 1967, two 40s, two proofs. Four and I have C's. Five rolls to go. All right, box one has been hunted and it was a fun first box. Two of the 40 percenters, two of the proofs, five in total and I have C's and my second ever 2024 Denver half dollar. We'll put it to the side. So hopefully box number two is similar. Picked up same week, different bank, of course. Uh, Charlotte Bank, actually a lucky bank, but we'll have to see if it means a lucky box. Man, that's not a lucky box. That's mostly brand new ones with a couple of rolls that are not new. You know what? It's not worth hunting. I think almost every single coin roll in this box, yeah, is brand new. All right, we'll just send this one back to the bank and we'll move on to the next two. So that's not going to be box number uh, 81 on the year. You know what? Let me grab another box, put it on top. We'll make it box number 81. Keep it all in order. I'll be back when I have another box, probably a Loomis wrap box in just a moment. All right, box number 81, LT Loom. Last week, T Loom. And that means two weeks ago because now last week was this week, if that makes sense. Hopefully it's not new ones again. And I know that last box probably had a handful of non-new uh, coins and I probably should have searched it all instead of just sending it back to the bank. But what I'll do is I'll weigh all of those rolls and if I have any heavy ones, I'll crack it open. All right, do we have? Yes, we do. Circulated yellow Loomis half dollar rolls. 
I'll be back if I have a find in box number two, and hopefully I do. Roll number 39 of this Loomis box, and it's been a tough box, only an NIFC so far, but we got our miscellaneous. It's a stickerized coin. This is going to be the first battle of Bull Run, July 21st, 1861. Very cool. It's probably on an NIFC, yeah, 2013 Philly half dollar. So we'll take that. A miscellaneous now. We just need a 90%er for the fill the board, and we still got two more boxes to hunt. Well, unfortunately, that Loomis box was a pretty tough box. Obviously, no silver. We only got a couple of NIFCs, and one's heavily scratched, but I'll keep it for the wrap-up. And then the uh, stickerized coin, the bull run battle. That being said, it gave us another part of the fill the board, like I said earlier, and it did its job for being a tough older box from my stack. Two recent pickups this week. Again, NS String and Sons boxes. Typically when the W boxes are good, it makes me optimistic that the P boxes might also be good because they are a sister bank just in another town. All right, let's crack open box number one of the two boxes. I don't see anything silvery, and I do see that we do have some uncirculated half dollars, but it looks like a pretty good box overall as far as circulated halves to go through. You guys know the drill. Hopefully have a find before the end of the box. Roll number seven of box number three of the hunt is going to give us another proof coin. So a third proof, but a different box. This one's scratched up, 1977S, to go along with, what is that, four NIFC so far in box number three. Well, we're on roll number 26 of this third box. Just the proof in a few uh, NIFCs until now. Cracked open this roll. It wasn't that much heavy, but look at, I think we have a couple of silver coins. 225.35, again, not that heavy, but we definitely have at least one, and I think we have a second one towards the front of the roll. I think we have a 40 here and a 40 there. Two 40s, it looks like, in a roll that was not even... Oh, and it's a proof. 1968S. We will take that a proof 40 percenter. And uh, what's this other one? It's just going to be a 1968, sorry for the bad camera work. Forgot you guys are here with me for a second. Two 40s in the same roll, a 68S proof and a 68 Denver regular strike. And uh, hopefully that means the second half of this box is going to heat up. Let's see if it is. Roll number 31. Another light roll with silver in it right there. 225.41. Another 1968 Denver Three silvers, one of them proof in this box. We have five silvers now through almost two and a half boxes. Let's find some more. Roll number 40 of the third box. We're going to have silver number four right there. And it looks like it's going to be another 40 percenter. I think I see a clad edge on it. Nothing else in the roll. Another light roll, 225.13. Oh, and it's another proof. We got a 68S last time. What do we got this time? And look at that. The 1970 San Francisco. It's been a while since I found a 70, any 1970 half dollar in a box, and we got one. Let me see if I can clean up this surface on these uh, proofs that I have here really quick, these surfaces, and I'll bring you back after I MS-70 them and just pat them dry. I'll be back in just a second. I want to make these proofs stand out a little bit more. All right, I use a little MS-70. I know you guys don't like me cleaning coins, but these ones are proofs that were circulated, and you can't argue with how much better they look after a little MS-70. I can't believe we got four silvers here all of a sudden, two being proofs, one being a 1970S. If we get a 90, we have to fill the board, and uh, this will be one of my best box hunts solo in a while. And we still have a whole other box, which is the sister box, plus 10 rolls to go. Man, this is fun. Roll number 42. And I think we have silver number five of this box right here. And it sounds good. 1966, another 40 percenter for the board. All right, we finished hunting that P1 box. Three boxes down. What a dandy of a box. Holy cow, just in NIFCs, we had 11 NIFCs. We had a clad 1977S proof. We had three 40 percenters that were regular business strikes and two more 40% proofs. 
1968 S and maybe my third or fourth ever 1970 S as well. Holy cow. We still have the sister box. That box alone was almost to fill the board. We still just need a 90. Hopefully we got at least some more 40s in this box and I'll make mention really quick. It's a shame that a lot of people probably don't understand that 1965 through 1970 half dollars are 40 percent silver we see a lot of these in our half dollar hunts more so than the 90 percenters because a lot of people know from 1964 and earlier we're 90 percent but not a lot of people know about the 65 through 1970 and the bicentennial proof and regular strike that's also 40 percenter anyway i digress let's get this other box open and see if it's just as good as the sister box or maybe even better well, I was hoping to see an ender that was silver, and I don't see that. Either way, we still got to hunt it, see what's in the rolls. We didn't see any enders on that one, and it was a great box. Obviously, at the end of this box, I'll give you guys a full hunt recap. But in the meantime, let's see if we have any finds in box number four. Roll number 19 of the fourth box. We have four NIFCs so far, and now we have another clad proof. 1993S clad a little bit later than the last couple, but we'll take it. It looks like it could be the sister box. All right, now is there silver in it? 226.12, we've been uh, heavy rolled before with no silver, but uh, we'll have to see if we have any silver in this roll. I'll be back to let you know if we do. Wah, 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 wah. No silver, back to the hunt. Well, that's a heavy roll. Looks like we're one half dollar over because there's no way it's 236.5 grams for 20 half dollars. Let's crack into it and count them. Yep, 21 half dollars. Got back 50 cents of the dollar I lost in my last hunt. We'll take it. No good goodies in there though. Roll number 22 next. Roll number 35 of box four and I'm gonna go four for four on NF String and Sons boxes this week. W1 and W2 had silver on the live streams. P1 and now P2 took us 35 rolls. But we got one. It's a nice 1968 Denver. I had hope because we found NIFCs, a lot of them again, and a proof. So I was thinking it's gotta be the sister box. So far it hasn't been a very hot box, but silver nonetheless. And I think that's eight now for the hunt with still 15 rolls left. Maybe we can get to 10. Let's see if we can. And that's going to do for this four box hunt. We'll take what we got. Yeah, the fourth box kind of calmed down, but either way, it gave us 11 and IFCs, a proof, and another 40. What's next for me to do is lay out all the fines on the board. I'll bring you guys back with a look at those fines and an updated sheet and some final thoughts on today's four box hunt in just a moment. All right, here are all the fines from today. We have 19 nice NIFCs. And then the rest of these, what is that? Two, four, six, eight, nine, we'll send back because they're not in great shape. So a total of 28 NIFCs, but only keeping 19. We got the sticker eyes find, we got four clad proofs, and another 2024 Denver half, my second one ever found. Still haven't found the Philadelphias yet. A total of eight silver 40 percenters were found. Six were the regular business strikes. We had a 66, a 67, three 68Ds, and a 69D. And then two proof 40 percenters, a 1968S and a 1970S. I bet you there are a few other silver halves from this collection and another bank box that somebody else picked up this week, and I hope they found some goodies. Either way, like I said, we'll send those back. The silver jar will get a snack, and that, my friends, is what we like to see when we hunt half dollars. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did hunting those four boxes. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. Oh, nothing like hunting half dollars and adding a bunch of silver, including proof silvers like we found before, to the 2024 silver jar. Isn't that right, buddy?